The saying goes that blood is thicker than water, and the blood flowing through Kentucky's veins is born in oak barrels. The official drink of the Kentucky Derby is the mint julep, and Trey Zollar, the man distilling Jefferson's bourbon, only drinks one of them a year, and that's at the Kentucky Derby. My dad used to go in and buy out the mint julep salesman, the guy who yelled, mint juleps. He had a white cap on and said mint juleps. So he'd take that tray back to his box and he was a mint julep man for the day. Packed with ice and made with simple syrup and freshly chopped mint, the cocktail is nothing without the Kentucky bourbon. So I have to ask you, what is the difference between bourbon and whiskey? Well, bourbon's much better, obviously. Obviously. Obviously, <laughs> one. But all bourbons are whiskeys, but not all whiskeys are bourbons. Okay. In bourbon, you have to use a new charred white oak barrel, okay. and you can't add anything to it. So it's just the natural elements. It allows us to really be a farm to bottle bourbon. And that process begins with the rye harvest and a helping hand. <laughs> The grains head to the hopper, but before it's mixed with water, I become the workhorse. How are you with a knife? Great. That's a little scary, but okay. <laughs> Slit its throat. Yeah. Wow. Ah. yeah you are good. <laughs> so the malt will break down the enzymes <coughs> turning the starch. Sorry, I'm trying to hold it. <laughs> now we got to throw away all that malt. <laughs> <laughs> so once again, we're off to the races. All right, bags are empty. Now this grain's going to get milled up and it'll join the other grains in the cooker. So that's going to be the catalyst for the fermentation process. Which is to add yeast to the mix. The cultures feast on the sugars, converting them into alcohol and releasing CO2 in the process. Wow, you can actually see it bubbling right here. But it's boiling. It's not because it's hot water. Really? It's because of the starch is being burnt off by the Super. fermentation process. Ooh, grainy. After the fermentation is complete, the mixtures move to the cooker. It looks like a thick soup. And then heads to the distillation process. And what you're left with is a pure 80 proof alcohol, essentially moonshine. Cheers. Woo, moonshine! Put hair on your chest. Hopefully not, honey. <laughs> Keep that bare. What's poured out of the top then makes its way to the oak wood barrels. I just feel like I'm pumping gas here, right? You are. I just want to stick my mouth on it. <laughs> there you go. She's a classy yeah. lady. Looks like my buzz just went from truck to gallop. Okay, but I saw the clear stuff over there. You know, is it go in here clear or brown? The whole distillation process is a science. But once you start the maturation process, it turns into an art. So once that bourbon hits the wood, it starts picking up the color, picking up the flavors. It's kind of nature versus nurture. The nature is what happens in the distillation. The nurturing is what happens in the wood. And to finish off my first batch of bourbon, I'm adding my own personal touch. Oh, a little chunky, but it's my first time. And then we take it out to the hot boxes to sweat. So how does it get there? Nothing more than turn it down. Keep going. Keep it. Get that momentum going. Yeah. Finally, and at long last. It's been maturing in here for 12 years. 12 years? 12 years. We're ready to taste some Kentucky bourbon. We're going to go ahead and grab the whiskey thief. That's this bad boy here. That's it. Okay. And I want you to stick the whiskey thief through the bunghole. The bunghole. Through the bunghole. Seriously. That would be the opening Stick this, aperture. this thief in the bunghole? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. There you go. <laughs> okay, I'm going in. You got it. Just a nice little taste. Let it roll over your tongue. Ooh, that's nice. This is vanilla and caramel up front. And then mid-palate, you have, there's a, feel that weight. And then it's just got a really easy finish to it. I'll keep doing this. Keep Probably drinking, good. but Can actually I'm going to have to interrupt you because we've got to put the bung back into the bung hole. Ooh. So take I the bung hammer, okay. take the bung. Bung. Bung hole meal. There you go. <laughs> bung hole. 
Now shove really? it in there. Shove it in there. Don't oh, be scared. <gasps> Keep going. Yeah! Right on. Perfect seal. Woo! You did good work. Just sealed up my bone hole right there. So come the first leg of the Triple Crown, just remember how far that bourbon in your copper julep cup has come. <laughs> shoved in a bunghole. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect.